U.S. and California Departments of Fish and Wildlife are investigating the death of a southern sea otter found skinned last month in San Simeon. KSBY News reporter Brooke Martell explains. The skinned female otter was found on the 26th of September by someone who was walking along Arroyo de la Cruz Beach here in San Simeon. Now, according to Fish and Wildlife officials, this is a crime that's not commonly committed here. The southern sea otter is protected under state law and the Endangered Species Act. A regular beachcomber found this animal high up on the beach and totally skinned. The evidence we have indicates that it was still a fresh dead animal and it hadn't been scavenged. The reason someone would remove its pelt is still unclear, but Mike Harris of the California Department of Fish and Wildlife says these mammals have the densest fur of any animal on the planet. We haven't had a case that I recall where a sea otter was skinned and the, the hide was removed and taken away. You can't have parts of a sea otter or any marine mammal for that matter uh, and you can't take them home. Todd Tognazzini of San Luis Obispo Fish and Wildlife says this isn't the only sea otter death on the north coast that's being investigated. This uh, sea otter that was living in close pro proximity to Target Rock uh, by Morro Bay was either shot from a boat or shot from land side by some person who had some malice towards the sea otter and killed it. Suspects in both cases have not been identified, but officials say they could be prosecuted for unlawful possession of marine mammal parts under state and federal law and face up to $100,000 in fines as well as jail time. Reporting in San Simeon, I'm Brooke Martell, KSBY News. Thank you, Brooke. And if you know anything about either of these cases, call CalTIP at 1-888-888. 334-2258. That's the number on the screen, 888-334-2258.